this is Dr. Nakumat, came from Tokyo. Congratulations about the uh, hot dog. Last year was a great year at Hot Docs. We had a huge jump in attendance. We had over 120,000 people come out. We're expecting even more this year. We have a team of 12 programmers. They went through over 2,000 submissions. Uh, if somebody was to pick 10 films at random at this year's festival, they would see 10 very different films. And it's that process of discovery that I think our audiences really enjoy. So uh, here we are, opening night, Hot Docs 2010. Another film festival gets underway in the city. In a city with about as many film festivals as Tim Hortons locations. It's a little easy to take what's going to happen here um, over the next 10 days for granted. We've got a great whole new slate of films, of course, but we're also doing screenings on rooftops in Toronto. We're welcoming a whole bunch of high-profile speakers for a speaker series. Our program includes retrospectives of veteran and celebrated filmmakers Kim Longinato and Tahani Rashed as well as a spotlight on South American cinema. There will be networking and pitching and blogging and tweeting and lineups and popcorn for lunch. Making connections between things that bind and unite human beings is something that documentary does particularly well. And so conveniently, it's also one of the themes that emerges in the joyful film uh, you're about to see, Thomas Balmas' Babies. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna like the film I'm gonna show tonight. It's very different from anything I've done before. Even like the American distributor, Jens Shamus, said like two days ago in New York, like opening the film, this is the weirdest film focus features I've ever done. It's so bizarre, but he's gonna show it in 500 theaters next week, and so I guess he likes it. We did try back on the weekend, which was amazing. You know, it was like people were lined up at 9:30 in the morning. The screening was at 9:30 at night. But this is special tonight. First of all, the guys grew up in the suburbs of Toronto. They're the biggest Canadian rock band of, of all time. So they're here. Their families are here. Kim Mitchell's here. This is one of the most special, if not the most special, premiere we've ever had. Well, a lot of the interviews that we did were spread out over a fairly long period of time. You know, really over a couple of years. So it's, uh, it's not like you had to sit down and think of a thousand things all at once. It was also much more in depth than a normal interview would be. Because, you know, they kept coming back and wanted more details about this album and that album. And sometimes things that we just couldn't remember anymore. We don't know why we're here, actually. I can't remember why we're here. I don't know who this is. I hear the popcorn speak. I think what we realized is that you know, the chapter of metal and hard rock music is kind of a bit of a forgotten chapter. You know, Neil Young, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, these are artists that have had lots of films and media, you know, attention. But when it comes to metal bands and hard rock bands, I think there's, there's still lots of, of work to be done. Dr. Nakamatsu, which uh, the film follows, is uh, the world's record holder of patents. And I followed him for one month, up to his uh, 80 years birthday. My job doesn't feel like work. I mean, I'm, my hobby is my job, and this was especially fun. I am still continuing to create new invention. And uh, Dr. Nakamatsu will save the world. As our director of programming, Sean Farnell, likes to say, we're really here to show everything that documentary can do. And that means showing high-profile films from veteran filmmakers to discovering young talents and emerging filmmakers and giving them a bit of a boost to rock it. I'd never made a movie before, and I never had any idea whatsoever about what it would take to do that. And I mean, it is it was literally like peeling the largest onion in the world. Her name was Benazir Bhutto, and her story uh, plays out like a, uh, a Greek tragedy. Every layer revealed something that you could never have figured. And the 
Hot Docs is a wonderful film festival, mostly because Toronto loves their docs and it's something different. We were at Sundance, I enjoyed Sundance, I love Hot Docs.